What's up, Android fans? Tekken Me is back with a whole slew of cool apps, so let's get to it! First off, I'm running Pac-Man ROM. You can get this cool little wallpaper linked down below. This is Bob Clock D3 widget. Alright, let's get it started. To start off, we have Evo Mail. Evo Mail is a nice little email app. You can really organize all your emails. You can categorize them, archive them, delete them. You can postpone your emails. It makes your email into to-do list. Here I have my spam mail basically. So you can just swipe it and it deletes. You can swipe it to the right and it archives it. So it's a nice little gesture based, all right? So if I click on this, suppose, and I click on hold, I can start it, I can tag it, I can reply, I can forward, right? But I can do other stuff as well. Suppose I want to go to this email. And then I can press that button right there, and then I can put it into any of the folders that I have. Or, let's go back to it, I can press this. What this does is I can postpone it to later today, so it comes back in my inbox and reminds me. I can postpone it to tomorrow, or, I can even postpone it to next week, right? And if I want a specific date and time for it, I can do that as well. Just click down and I can set a date and a time for it. So nice little email app that makes your email into to-do list. So it's really nice, really cool. That's evil. All right, next up we have Quick Office. Quick Office is basically Microsoft Office for your phone or tablet. So what Quick Office does, it syncs with your Gmail or basically Google Drive or your internal storage on your SD card. It can access your Word documents, your PDFs. So here I have a PDF. It's really good for reading PDF files. So let's click on it and open it. it downloads it really quickly. Alright, so right now I can't really read it because everything is too tiny. I can just click on that make everything bigger by going to reading view and there you have it it's, everything is bigger right but what I can also do is create a presentation a spreadsheet or a word document let's go to word document and see what it does alright so here I have a new little word document I can click on the font make it bold make it italics and all that stuff that you can do in word you can even change the font I can go to menu I can could do a quick spell check I can do a page view of all my word file I can even save it, share it, or I can even do other stuff like insert an image from the gallery or camera and insert a table. So it's really nice, almost full-fledged word on your phone. So that's a quick little view into Quick Office. The next two apps are created by CyanogenMod and it's there up on the Play Store. This is Focal, it's a camera for your phone. It's in beta right now. But check it out, it's really cool what they have going, all right? It's a very clean camera, right? You can click on this and swipe it anywhere. You can go to a camera, you can go to front camera, you can go to a panorama, you can go to a video, and you can even do a pic sphere, right? So you can do all that. So let's go to camera right now, all right? So now I want to do this, change the settings. All I have to do is swipe from the left. And I get all the settings menu. I have flash, I have white balance. Suppose I want to alter the scene mode. I just click on it, and right there I have all the scene modes. I can click any of these. Suppose I want sunset. Right there I have the sunset theme. Click on it and it goes away. HDR, effects. I can do exposure, ISO, burst mode. But I don't want to do burst mode. I can have timer and I can have settings. In settings I have... Let's click on it. Okay. In settings I have... Auto enhance the image, I have rule of thirds, which I have going, I like to take pictures with rule of thirds, and all that other goodies, all right? So it's a nice little, almost full-fledged camera, but it's still in beta, so it might have a little hiccups here and there. So nice little camera for your phone, it's called Focal. It takes your pictures, you swipe down, and you can check the picture, right? Nice, smooth as always, that's a Focal camera. Next, we have a calculator by Cyanogen Mount again, and this, is really nice. It's gesture based. So here you have the regular calculator going. You can swipe. You can go to your sine, cosine. You can even go here and you can do your matrices. You can swipe again back to your default calculator. You can go here and you can do all the all that other goodies that I don't even know how to do and all this other graphing and all that goodies. All right. So that's CyanogenMod calculator. All right, links down below, below that like button. All right, next up we have Greenify. Greenify is basically a task manager, so you have to be rooted to have this. 
So what Greenify basically does is it puts apps to sleep so that they don't take up your system memory. So here we have a list of all the hibernated, hibernated apps. If I want to hibernate an app, I just click add and I'm greeted with all the apps on my phone. I just click on it. All right. Let's not do that. All right. So and then I just click check and then it hibernates them. Watch. It says hibernating and it's been greenified. And as you can see, it does need root permissions. So it's a really nice app and it really saves up your battery. It's awesome. I've tried it and it does really work. We have iFont. iFont basically changes the whole look of your phone by changing the font. Let me show you. Here I am in the Play Store for iPhone, right? Oh, I need an update for it. Forget that. All right. So here I am in the Play Store, right? And as you can see, the font is totally different. It's a different, nice, spacious font I have going there, right? All right. Let's go back to iPhone. So here we are in iPhone. You can go either to English, Japanese, Korean, whatever. But obviously, we want to go to English, most of us. And you have a whole list of so many fonts, right? These are the ones online I can download. And it's a free app, by the way. These are the fonts on my phone currently. I can install any of these fonts, or I can even add my different custom fonts by going to custom, all right? So let me change the font of the phone. So here I have, let's try a really different look. Let's go to KG Love Through, whatever this font is, all right? Let's apply it, and let's set it. But in order to set it, you need to reboot your phone, all right? So let's reboot and get back to it. We are back again. The phone is rebooted. Let's go to the Play Store. By the way, this is Swipe Pad, all right? So we're in the Play Store, and check it out. The font is completely different. I can't even read this font. It's really hard to read. But there you have it. This is iPhone. iPhone does is, if you, if you have a Samsung phone, you can, basically, you don't need root. But if you have any other phone like HTC or Motorola or Sony, then you need root to change your fonts. All right, sorry about Next that. Next up, we have Chimera. Chimera is basically a camera app, but it's basically meant for taking portraits. So it's, let's go to camera. All right, it's a, it has a very smooth camera. All right, so here we have the camera. We can go to the left and we can zoom in to the right and zoom out to the left, right? Nice little idea there. And then we have all the quick settings up there. You can switch between front facing, back facing, and all that goodies. But the interesting part is right here. You click on the lens and there you have it. This is basically standard camera. You switch and you can take four, four shots vertically and it puts it on all together. Or you can even take four shots like this and puts it all together. You can even take four shots in a photo, photo reel style. Or you can even take a double shot. You can even take a movie reel kind of shot, right? And you can even have the fish eye, alright? So you have pre-installed lenses here. You can't add more lenses, so it's really nice. And as you can see, it's really smooth, right? Alright, so let's get, let's go to this one, alright? And let's click next, okay? So as you can see, the view, so if I want to take a picture of my laptop, it's not really coming well. All right, so you can click on it and boom, it takes a picture and takes another picture. You can make all different faces and you can change it and it puts, let's put that one. And there you have it. It puts all the pictures together, right? As you can see. So it's a nice little app. And then you can even go and you can put different effects. So it's a nice little camera for taking portraits. That's kind of we have disk usage. Disk usage is basically a nice little app to manage all your space on your phone. So I'm going to my SD card. It takes a while, but then boom, there you have it. You're in the SD card. And now it tells me what's taking up most of my space in my SD card. DCIM is camera basically, so that's photos. And I can even zoom in, zoom out and see what's taking up. Suppose I want to see what's what's taking up most of my space in my camera that's mostly videos right and I can even zoom out suppose I want to go to twerp twerp is basically my backups so here I have backup from pacman rom and all the other goodies so here I have pacman rom this is taking up a lot of space right so I can click on it and it tells me exactly what's taking up most of my space and I don't want it I can just click menu and I can delete it and boom it deletes the Pac-Man space, right? So now I have more space on my phone. 
or my SD card. So you can browse your space on your SD card or your store or your internal memory and you can judge what's taking up most of the space and you can get rid of it right from here or you can uninstall the app. All right, that's disk usage. All right, next up we have my favorite icon pack, Flatro. Flatro is or Flatro. Flatro is basically flat and round. As you can see, the my dock is Flatro. Let's go to the icon pack. So here I have the Flatro icon pack. Check it out. All these icons are kind of cartoony, but they're really nice. I really like them. They're up on the Play Store link down below. All right, you can check them out really nice one of my favorite icon packs all right it works great with most of the launchers camera 360 now this is another camera app but it's really nice it's kind of intuitive actually on top i have my quick settings if i click right there i can go to more settings and i can have all the other stuff like timer and all that goodies all right let's go back and if i swipe to the right or swipe to the left I get these quick settings for effects, so I have none effect going right now. So I can go to magic effect like magic skin, or I can go to light color, HDR, and all that goodies. All right, let's go to HDR. All right, now if we are in HDR, I can have more effects right there. Like any, I can have really bright or really soft. So it's a nice little camera app with all the effects live, all right? So that's the best part. Just swipe to the left and you get all the effects. So that's really nice, really quick look into Camera 360 Ultimate. So these are my favorite apps. Let me know what your favorite was down below. Below that like button. Of course, my top favorite would be Evo Mail. That's it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the huge support. Keep dropping those likes and I'll keep dropping these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. More awesome videos are on the way. This is Tech and Me signing out, guys. Peace. Bye bye. Tech and Me. Tech and Me. Thank you.